Yeehaw! And welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. All right, we're back at Hooters, finally doing another review. I'm really just wishing on the day that they do an exclusive tie-in with Mountain Dew. I really want to see that. I really want to see some fun Mountain Dew flavor from Hooters with the owl on it. Maybe some really uh, interesting graphics. Okay, that was crazy. But anyways, they've got a lot of new items uh, available till August 4th. And they look good. They've got cheese curds. And they got a new mango, habanero, buffalo sauce. And this is going... Oh, I think I got it. And they've got two loaded fries. They've got a western one with like chili. No thanks. Uh, they've got funnel fries. And then they've got these cheeseburger loaded fries. So we're reviewing the cheeseburger loaded fries. So excited. All right. I love cheese curds. I guess that's where we'll start and we'll move our way along. So let's get to it. Oh boy. I almost dropped my wings. Cheese curds. You can't do cheese curds wrong, right? So let's go with a big one. Golden, crispy. Oh, so cheesy. I bet they're even better when you get them in the restaurant. Because, again, you know, if you get it to go, it's not always going to be, like, super fresh. And you get a choice of sauce. I did the Heinz Chipotle. I don't really need to dip them. I love cheese curds for the way they are. They always have a low floor to me, right? These definitely remind me of either Dairy Queen or Cookout. And they're very good, but they're not the best cheese curds you can get. Like, there's a couple places that just do them better. Whether it's hand breaded or whatever they do. So, these aren't the top tier, but they're very flavorful. Got a nice touch of salt on the outside. i give them 8 out of 10. Any day. All day, every day. All right. Now we're going to, I guess I'll take my fork and use it. I was thinking about not using it. I love their boneless wings. To me, I think they're, they don't seem to be frozen. I would say they may be hand breaded. Even if they are frozen, it's the quality of the meat's very solid. I had wings at this uh, newer chain. I guess it's not really newer, but it's not as big chain Bubba's and and it's like uh, kind of themed after one of the NASCAR drivers. Of course, Hooters has the NASCAR tie-ins too. Um, th bo both places, let me just tell you. Shameless plug. Really good wings. So this is Mango Habanero Buffalo, their new sauce. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's a big reason why I get their boneless wings is because I they're, they're very good. Like, I could do without a B-dubs boneless wing, um, but... You know, anywhere I'll be happy to get bone-in wings, but when you got that, oh man, I love it. So let's uh, let's try it out. That's very interesting, spicy, but interesting because again, you get those notes, those slightly vinegary, tangy notes um, that really. You know, take a little bit of a pinch to your mouth, other than the spiciness. Sweet, spicy, slightly sesty, very, very flavorful. Very, very straightforward in what they're trying to do here. Um, and they deliver on it so well. Like when I read that it was a buffalo sauce, I wasn't expecting to really enjoy it, but this is very interesting. And the mango habanero is really what stands out on this. But again, you do still get some buffalo, just slightly. Um, yeah, I really like that a lot. Like, it really delivers on flavor. It's not too hot. I've had some mango habaneros that are too hot. I've had some that aren't hot enough. It has a good mix of buffalo. I don't think I can give it a perfect rating because I want a little bit more buffalo. So I'm going to give it a nine and a half. All right. Cheeseburger loaded fries. 
I'm scared about this one. I don't know how they make their burgers, but of course, big, big fry. Cheese, pickles, tomato, uh, beef, and a special sauce. Got a special sauce one. Maybe like the Big Mac sauce is what it tastes like. Yep. That's exactly what that tastes like. It's Big Mac fries. They're not bad. I wish the fries were crispy. But again, I'm sure they're a little bit more crispy when you get them fresh sitting down at the restaurant. You can't go wrong with waffle fries. You can't go wrong with a ha um a um a sauce that tastes like Big Macs. Yeah. So if you like Big Macs and you like waffle fries, I think you'll like this. Simple, straightforward, really good. Um, I probably I probably put it same same tier as the cheese curds. Um, I give it a straight up eight out of ten. Really enjoyable, and uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm shocked. I'm surprised that they impressed me so much. And and maybe it's just because I don't go to huge Hooters, but once a year at the most, right? So it's. Not something where I'm going to remember for sure, hey, this is what this experience was like. And I don't think it's been, I think it's probably been two years at this point since I had last been to Hooters. Um, it really had been that long. They had some new items last summer, including like a hot dog, but I never got to it because my area sucks. 757, uh, screw you on a couple things. Uh, you didn't have the true moo Star Wars milk. I had to get that in Richmond. And I had to do these new items in Richmond as well. Because the locations, the franchises for Hooters in my area suck. Very, very bad. Poorly run in terms of getting new promos out. Don't know who manages that. But you need to find a new job or get it together. And uh, whoever in true moo doesn't think uh, we can uh, handle their milk out in our area. I don't know what's going on with you too, but uh, sorry about the sour twist, but uh, you know, I like being able to have access to everything and get annoyed. So anyways, that is the review. I'm sticking to it and I'll see y'all around. Yeah!